A few weeks ago, I posted an episode on how I was attempting to take an old satellite dish and convert it into an over-the-air TV antenna. I really had no idea if it would even work, but I thought it would be a fun project. Well, it actually received signals from stations that were over 60 miles away. In my location, that's pretty impressive. I'm still playing around with this project, and I wanted to post an update, so let's hop to it. During the original build episode, I asked for your suggestions. I was really curious on what all of you could come up with. Some of your suggestions sound pretty interesting, so in this episode I will be trying a few of them and see what the results are. Again, I have no idea what these results will be, but I'm having fun trying. Quite a few of you made suggestions regarding the actual antenna element. Many of you said I should just bolt on a commercial antenna, but that goes against the whole concept of this project. I want to see what I can accomplish with simple homemade elements. Another suggestion I had was to try to change the antenna from a horizontal to vertical position. Well, that's a simple thing, so let's start with that. I do know that sometimes antenna orientation can affect reception, so this is a valid idea. Since I did all my original testing from inside my test room, I will do most of today's tests from the same location using the same equipment. This way I'll know if the mods I make are actually making any difference. To get a current baseline, I start with the antenna as originally designed and run a full scan. Right now, this antenna is picking up 44 channels. The comments didn't say exactly which axis to change the element on, so I'll start by flipping it up like a propeller. Reception now dropped to only 31 channels. Now I'll mount it like this. It's back to horizontal, but mounted 90 degrees on its back, so it's facing upwards. It's back up to 44 channels, but the overall signal strength appears lower. From this test, it looks like the original orientation works the best. The next suggestion is to try to adjust the distance between the element and the dish to fine-tune the reception. Currently, it's right at 21 inches. In order to accomplish this, I'm first replacing the upper 5-inch arm with a 7-inch arm that I attach at its end like this. Next, I fabricate a little adjustable shuttle that I will slide along the arm. With the antenna attached to it, I can tune the distance from between 17 and 1 half inches out to 24 inches from the dish face. Watching the signal meter, I slide until I get the best overall signal, which is right at 23 inches. The next suggestion is to adjust the distance between the element and the mesh reflector. I flip the slide arm around and fix it so that the element distance is at the optimal 23 inches. I attach the mesh to the shuttle. I can adjust the distance between these anywhere between 3 inches out to 8 inches. Okay, hang on a second. A few comments said that I should be using a matching transformer. I have always used one on this design. I'm sorry if I did not make this clear before. I basically do the same thing as what I do with the element. I start at 3 inches apart and record the average signal strength. I slide the shuttle one half inch farther and do the same. I continue to do this until I get all the way to the end of the arm, which is 8 inches. The best signals seem to be between 4 and 5 inches. After a bit more adjusting and testing, it looks like 4 and 1 half inches is the most stable. 3 cap for this particular antenna, the optimum distance I measured is 23 inches from dish to antenna element and 4 and 1 half inches from the element to the reflector. I really should mention that I did all these measurements based on signal reception from channel 62. It's a weaker station around 30 miles from my location, but it has a very stable signal. Now that this antenna is more optimized, I will try to pick up a longer range station. I turn the antenna towards channel 7, which is over 60 miles away and is always very difficult to receive. I set the Amatic tuner to manual tuning. Channel 7 actually broadcasts on over-the-air channel 34, so I input it into the display. It takes a bit of adjustment to the dish, but after a couple of minutes I find the signal. 
The best I can get is right around 40% on the signal meter and the picture still has some pixelations. Occasionally the signal drops out, but overall it's watchable. I'm still pretty happy with this performance. Not only is the distance over 60 miles away, but there is a lot of terrestrial interference blocking the signal. For those of you that have asked, I have never been able to pick up this station on a simple seven inch hoop antenna like I'm using here. So I'm thinking something about this dish setup has to be working. Okay, let's go back to the comments. One of the biggest suggestions I've received was to use a signal amplifier or a preamp on this antenna. There is a whole discussion going on whether this would help or hinder reception, but since so many of you have suggested it, I'll give it a try. I have an RCA amplifier that you use on my A-frame camper antenna. It actually works quite well, so let's see what it does on this antenna. Before all of you start commenting on how I should use a preamp mounted at the antenna, let me say that I'd normally agree with you, but since the cable distance here is so short, it really isn't going to make an appreciable difference. This amp is obviously helping. The signal strength is now averaging in the upper 40%, an increase of around 6 or 7%. Not bad. The picture still has minor pixelations, but overall it's very watchable. Let's try one more suggestion. A whole bunch of you want me to take this outside and see if it works better. So let me haul this stuff into my yard. This thing is pretty heavy and awkward. After wrestling everything down the stairs, I set up the TV and tuner in the screen porch and the antenna is on the deck. I connect them together with a 20 foot length of RG6, then I run a channel scan. I try scanning without the amplifier and I can only pick up 32 channels. I think the lack of elevation plus the fact that I now have my entire house blocking some of the stations is hurting reception. I hook up the amplifier and run another scan. It's better as I can get 36 channels. I run a manual search for channel seven, but I can't find any signal at all. I make numerous attempts to reposition a dish and catch a signal, but I can't locate it. It's definitely the lack of elevation that's hurting reception. I need to get this much higher off the ground. The best place for me would be to set it up on top of my two-story house. It would have a much higher elevation. It would be able to clear some of the trees that are blocking my reception. Well, that's not happening. First, I don't have a tall enough ladder to get up there. And second, I would need to have some assistance to do this and I don't have anyone available. As Dirty Harry said, a man's got to know his limitations. Maybe I'll try it in a future episode. Based on what I've already tested, I can surmise that the reception would be clearer and more stable but I doubt it would double the strength or anything like that. I'd like to send a special welcome to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate every one of you. If you haven't already checked out the rest of my channel, please do. A special thanks once again to my loyal followers. You are what makes this fun and I truly appreciate you. Thanks again to all of you that send in your comments. You made this episode possible, so keep it up. If you haven't already done it, please high five the like icon jingle the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Before I go, I just received this box from Amazon. It has some new components that I've never used to make a TV antenna, and I can't wait to see what I can do with them. I guess you'll just have to wait for my next episode. Until then, keep watching TV.